college is a period in which so much change takes place, and I wanted to make sure that I was being cultivated to grow in a space that would grow me more to be like Christ. We seek knowledge in a complete way, and I think Tori gives you the books that have sought to answer the questions that we have throughout history. Tory Honors College is an undergraduate general education program. It's a way of doing all of your gen ed and all of your Bible units that's integrated into a single curriculum with a single set of students that you're working with for a whole four years. Tory is classics driven, Socratic in nature. Our goal is to equip you with the kind of tools that you need to successfully navigate God's organized universe. It's a different way to come about getting true things because you're learning from the students and the faculty around you. They read deeply whole books and then they learn how to articulate their own perspectives. Rather than just absorbing information, I'm finding the things that I'm a little unsure about and actually digging into those things rather than veering towards the familiar. We read a, a wonderful range of classic texts. I mean, we start with Homer, the Iliad and the Odyssey, and on it goes, well down into the 20th century. They read philosophy and history and literature and poetry and fiction and nonfiction and theology. And then we disperse the biblical texts all throughout the entire four years. A lot of the ideas we discuss are big ideas that authors have argued about for centuries, and we get to participate in this discussion. Tory classes are entirely discussion-based. You walk into the classroom and you know which students are going to be there with you, and you have no idea which professor is going to walk through the door. So you'll just read a book and then go into discussion with some notes, and you just discuss this book with a prompt with these 15 other students. We're not being lectured at. We're not memorizing information to just regurgitate it later. You also have a professor to lead you in the conversation and make sure you get from the book what you're supposed to get. We're coming alongside the students, having conversations with them about these ideas and actually modeling what it looks like to wrestle with these concepts. When you come, you're assigned a faculty mentor who has got your back. So I get assigned a crop of brand new students when they come in and I know I'm committed to them for four years. And they really are coming alongside you to help you develop yourself where you're weak and strong. It's been so wonderful to have a relationship with a professor for wisdom and life advice. You can talk about your books, your life, and sometimes you'll even be talking about something that you think is so unrelated to Tori. You'll find a way to see how it came up in a book you read or an idea that's being discussed. And so it's an academic advisor, but it's also um, a spiritual mentor that you're getting as well. And being in a Christian environment, that's that means you're getting Christian mentorship. You come to get to know your cohort really well. My cohort came into the program in the same year, and we've kind of continued in discussion across the four years. And now four years later, we're such different people. We can have discussions. It's been amazing to have a group of people like that. We don't just have interactions inside the classroom. We also have trips. One of those trips is to go to Cambridge. For three weeks, we'll be headed to Cambridge and discuss some of the greatest works and authors that are from there. Or you go on the Torrey Parks trip and you go hiking in the mountains. We're going to national parks and I'll be there with 16 other students and a couple professors. I'm super excited. Wow, it's hot and you're hiking. We're talking about the good, the true, and the beautiful. And there's just something about that dichotomy that really brought those elements to light for me. In Tori, you encounter a lot of the big questions that Christians have been struggling with for centuries. So some might look at that and think of that maybe as a way to foster doubt in someone. But I found it helpful because when you encounter something so big, I found that it's just the most helpful just to bring it before the Lord. When you actually see how the concepts play out in the Bible, the same concepts that you were studying, it's so much richer to see how Christ is the crown of everything that you've been studying. And I think it helps me just value who God is and, and what he's done so much more. I am just amazed that books have the power to, to change the way that I, that I think and challenge me and engage me in really unique ways. So I really encourage anyone who's trying Tori to not just try it half-heartedly, but to really go for it, to get office hours with professors, to ask questions in session, to not be afraid to speak up, but also not be afraid to just listen to students. And it has truly, truly changed my life.